I hear wolves. We need to be careful. We're getting closer, but we are definitely going to uh, run into a wolf, I think. It's also getting foggy out here, which I think means it's getting colder. Okay, I want to get up here on these tracks and on the other side. Maybe. Sure sounds like the wolf is over there to my right somewhere. Really, he could come over this ledge at any point in time, couldn't he? He's out there... somewhere. We're too heavily burdened to sprint. Now we do have to be careful when we get to... There he is. He's still way down there. Okay. We do need to be careful when we get close to our cabin. Last time we saw a wolf patrolling very close. I'm a little less concerned about the wolves that were on the ice. Not because I think that they're any less terrifying than they were before, but we need to go out there. That's just the fact of the matter. We have to go out there, so it doesn't matter if I'm concerned that they're there or not, so I've decided not to be concerned. We'll scare them away if we have to. Lock Mystery. Mystery Lake. Wow. That was quite a trek. But. We managed to get here safely. Fantastic. Alright, time to drop heavy stuff. Let's open this cooler. Let's start by putting away. Some supplies. We'll put away the water. I guess we've actually just put everything in there, so... Put away the granola bar. We'll put away the banged-up condensed milk. We'll put the tea back over here to the side. Let's start dropping pelts. We have so many. That one. Those cured rabbit pelts. Drop this hide. These guts. Uh, I guess we'll put the guts up here. Seems kind of gross, doesn't it? But... Allow us to keep an eye on it.
Okay, that's pretty good. Fleece mittens. Uh, no. Not too worried about that. Okay. So, we've got all of our stuff out here. Curing. What can we drop over here? I guess we could drop one of our teas. And then I guess we can drop. These are pretty efficient. Not tremendously efficient, but 10 of these is 1,100 calories. All the tea. So much tea. We are awash in tea. All right, so our burdening is coming down a little bit. Let's come over and put some medicine back in the medicine cabinet. Doesn't hold all that much, but luckily medical supplies do not take a lot of space. You know what? Transfer them all. We've got all of these nice modern drugs that are on us, so I'm okay. I'm still not sold on what the Go Energy drink is. We'll have to try it out at some point. All right. We've got more wood and the like. I think I want to keep some of that on us, though. Like, we have a plug. We have... Uh, well, the striker can go away. The matches don't weigh all that much, but honestly, the matches probably ought to go away as well. Where is a good place for this? How about here? Oh, yeah. We almost never use the water purification tablets. They're very heavy for what they are. We could be using them, of course. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, let's go put everything upstairs in the trunk. We put a lot of things in that trunk already, or at least we should. We put the extra clothes in the drawer. But let's take a look here. We can put all the cloth aside. We can put all the feathers aside. We can put the cured leather aside. The pelts, because we don't have any cured gut yet. Um, I'm going to put the fire striker away, because we have more than enough matches. So many matches, really. Um, I don't think we need to bring the hacksaw. It's really heavy, just like I think I'm going to put this heavy hammer away. There we are. Now we're back under. It did tell us, though, that we are going to have to um, catch a fish that's at least five kilos. I don't know if that's heavy or not for a fish. In real life, that's not particularly heavy for a fish. Uh, quality tools. They're not that heavy, but I don't see any point in carrying it around for now. We've only ever needed it to repair certain items, and we've kept all of our items that we have right now in pretty good repair. I'll put the rifle casing away. Uh, I kind of want to tear up the ski gloves. Put a couple sewing kits away. But I really guess I ought to put these out there, huh? If we put them out, we could probably catch some rabbits. I don't know if this is a particularly good place to go catch rabbits. 
but I don't know that it's a bad one either. We'll put them up for now. If we find a place that looks like it's kind of rabbit territory, we'll make a mental note of it. And then we'll come back. Uh, the whetstone we can put away for now. Some of these matches, we have so many matches. Honestly, I'm just going to take my giant stack of matches. Everything else can just sit on its own. It doesn't matter. These don't weigh any more because they're in one stack versus two. It's just a little cleaner for me. We have the one recycled can. I think that's still fine. We have the fishing line. We can make more fishing tackle. Should we need to? It weighs almost nothing, so I'm willing to carry it around, but we already have three. Unless it's consumed on use, I think we're fine. Um, I'm going to keep the flashlight even at one kilo. If for some reason we get caught out where there's Aurora and there's no lights around, <laughs> that may be the thing that saves us from the wolves. Okay, so I think we've managed to Get rid of almost everything. Let's get rid of some of these flare shells. Why are we getting rid of flare shells? Well, they're heavy. And we have 20 of them. And I just don't see that we need 20 of them. I am going to keep all the rifles, though. All the rifle rounds. We shot a lot more wolves than I expected to shoot when the Aurora was out. So I'm perfectly willing to keep all of our rifle ammo with us. All right, we are down to 29.6. Um, I'm going to grab... No, we're going to be climbing around. The... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them. We need some fire starters. We cannot start a fire without. All right. So. I don't know that we need this, but it weighs almost nothing. Can opener to open cans, of course. We could put the rifle cleaning kit up, but let's hang on to it. If we come up with a right with a uh, revolver or something else like that in poor condition, we may need to uh, repair it. Everything else looks okay, not a problem. Food we'll have to take a little bit with us when we go. I am going to go ahead and tear up the ski gloves right now. It's a shame. Ski gloves are really pretty good, but these are just better than them in every meaningful way at the moment, anyway. So, uh, we can't wear two gloves anyway, so tear them up. Ten minutes for a piece of cloth. All right, it is getting kind of late in the day, but I am still willing to go outside. I don't think we'll go far, but I'm willing to go outside. Oops. Just... You know what? Carry it. It's fine. I don't care. And it weighs almost nothing compared to what it did weigh. We've got boots over there. We've got books. We are not weighed down. I'm going to take the book. The book will be easier to light on fire than the... Uh, Um, than the log that we're carrying around. So let's take some food with us. Beef jerky is pretty reasonable to take with us. We're going to need some food anyway, but um, granola bars are good. Chocolate bars are even a little better. We're going to take a grape soda. We're going to take Half a liter of water. And... I guess we'll take a granola bar. We'll eat a granola bar. I didn't pick up that granola bar, did I? No, I didn't. Nice, delicious can of grape soda, and let's just drink some of this water. 
Okay. <laughs> we'll need to do something about the water sitch when we come back. Okay, so there's this one up here. I think we're going to try and pass to the north up here and see if we can find easy access to that. Well, how? We're still going to try, but uh, I don't think I could hit a wolf right now if I needed to, so we'll keep the flare gun out. Honestly, it might be a fantastic time to... Um, kind of... go after the... Uh, can't go that way. Go out onto the lake, but I don't know. This is steep. Crap. Uh huh. All that, and we can't even get up there. Okay. Try moving just a little further over here. I see what looks like a gentler grade. Let's bandage our sprained wrist here. Pain will just have to stay for the moment. So there is a gentler path that leads up, I guess. supposed to go over here. I guess we could kind of try and come up and over. I think that's this direction. We are really pushing it. Staying on a slope this long. As it's becoming night. As we're not... So far as I can tell, meaningfully anywhere near our place. Okay, so we're kind of coming down around. Well, I guess that's fine. Let's see what we can see from up here. Probably not a lot since it's foggy, but... I bet that offers a pretty nice view of the lake. All right. Uh, that's pretty steep. That's really steep. Oh, I hear crows. Yeah, this is not a good idea. I can probably kind of scooch, scooch, scooch down there, but uh, this is a bad idea. And we're leaving. We'll do this when we can see what's going on. Luckily, it's not snowing hard. I should be able to more or less follow my footprints. I know the footprints go that way, but I'm curious. And we're not cold. We're well fed. Wow, we are just really venturing up onto the peak here, aren't we? So the derailment's up there. What a mess. All right. Wolves. Time to leave. I'm sure they're all out there on the lake, but still. That's a lot of wolves.
There has got to be something I missed. Like a, uh... Oh, yeah. We ventured out onto the lake itself. All right. Let's not fall. Don't fall. Cannot see anything out there. New location discovered. Mystery Lake. Well, I guess because we actually got out there on the lake. Huh. Well, I suppose that's why you don't go exploring at night in the fog. Good to know. Um, I think we sleep the pain off if we go rest. But I'm also perfectly willing to drink some rosehip tea. Gets us a little water. Heals our pain. Hmm. I don't think it's an aurora. I wonder what the little things are from. Like all those Christmas lights and stuff, I would expect to be lit up if that's the case. All right, we have plenty of food. Books, this wheel down here, two wheels down here. Mm, I don't think that's worth it. We left a whole bunch of wood over here, so. I We're not actually even cold. We would only need it to cook something if we wanted to cook a can of goodies or something. I'm thinking it might be advisable for us to... Uh, Go and explore out on the lake in the middle of the night, depending on what's going on, but... Curing seems to be going okay. We left ourselves a storm lantern and a hatchet here, just in case. I've gotten rid of most of our extra pieces of clothing, so... Oh, forgot that we left some cloth and cured leather and stuff in there. It was a good place to put it, but I'm still going to take all of it and go put it upstairs. Since that's where I've put everything else. I could roam around here tearing up all sorts of cloth and everything else like that, but I don't... I don't see a good reason to do that. So let's consider, what do we need to do? We've got to go out to the lake. We should have tried going around this way, but we can still try crossing the lake. Shouldn't be a problem. There's fishing huts. We'll probably be able to go from fishing hut to fishing hut. Uh, we can follow this up to get to this cache. It's another thing that we want to do. I'm really tempted to go for the lookout. Like, now, while it's dark. But I don't know if we'll be able to find the path up. The good thing is... The derailment's pretty easy to get to. I mean, it's just up there. We would have to go past a wolf, though. Hmm. The other option is just to try and sleep a whole bunch of hours. Our energy is at a relatively depleted level for where we like to keep it. I don't have any other tasks to do. But that may be a long trek through the dark and the mist. 
to get to a tower on top of a mountain. I think we'll just sleep. And then we'll get up and we'll eat our fill. And then we'll see what we can do. So. Eight hours should take us pretty close to dawn. Let's try nine. I don't know if we can... I don't think we can sleep the whole time. Yeah. Still the middle of the night. We're thirsty. I guess we could make... some water. Let's start a fire here. Twenty-four matches and we're not in any danger, I am willing to, uh... Take the 75% risk. All right. Okay, good. Those are doing what they need to do. Kind of feeling my way around here because I do not have a good sense for this, but there we are. I wonder if the, uh, Winter Flare, the blue one, I wonder if the light it casts is blue instead of red. Like if it's a magnesium thing. Um, what else? What can we warm up? We've got pork and beans. I guess we'll take the pork and beans. I can't remember if the condensed milk is eatable or not. I thought we had peaches. I thought we had peaches somewhere, but we don't. That's fine. 20%, 15% on all of these. 33 on the rabbits. We'll have some interesting things to try and make here eventually. I'm really hoping that we get something cool to make from bear. Let's cook the pork and meats. Beans and molasses with bits of what looks like pork. Nice and hot, 600 calories. It'll keep us warm. We'll drink what's left of our water here. I only have five minutes left on the stove. I think that worked out pretty good. Dawn is coming. 
but we are not there yet. Uh, we won't eat a granola bar yet. hop into bed and we'll pass an hour. We'll sleep if we can. But I'd like to get up and have it bright enough outside for us to to get going. I want to go check out that forestry lookout. I want to look for the uh, caches. I want to get out there and check the ice fishing huts. And I want to uh, go check out those cabins. I guess we'll do that next time. It will lead you back to me.